Hey Jonesy Babes and Anonymous Jonesy Babes, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about the visitation visit between Ernesto and Sonia. Well, his name is Ernesto Dilly Darko. Dilly is for that little black thing they found in his bag in the Darko because his whole life right now is dark and disturbing with all those disgusting charges and it's just horrible. So he is a dark person and he's very disturbing. Okay. And he's weird. But that's Sonya's man. Her man, her man, her man, her man, her man. <laughs> All right. So we have Miss Sonya. Honey, she looked like she just came from the women's correctional facility visiting her fiance in the men's correctional facility. And her hair is all slicked down. It's okay looking. It got a little bit of body to it. But um, mm -mm. she could have took a little pin and pinned that hair out of her face so we didn't have to watch her move her hair umpteen times, all right? Because she kept on moving it and moving it and coughing and all types of things she had going on. I see she got on that white shirt again, honey. She's wearing a, um, a husband beater shirt. You know how the men's have wife beaters? But Sonya got on her a husband beater, honey. Nesta, you better watch out. She might just beat on you when you get out. But I don't think she has to worry about that because I don't think you're getting out. But anyway, Nesta requesting from his sugar mama a new pair of glasses. <laughs> I don't know how much sugar she has, but if she don't have enough sugar, honey, he going to kick her to the curb and find him somebody else. Nesta, of course, noticed how, you know, Sonya's hair, how, how long her hair has grown, which is cool. He notices everything about Sonya, honey. He noticed her nose, her eyes, her ears, her throat, her mouth, her tongue, her teeth, especially her teeth. He is infatuated with her teeth and her nails, okay? I'm surprised he didn't say, smile for me, mommy. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay. <clears throat> of course, you know, Nesto got to say his thousand thank yous to Sonya and all that kind of stuff. You know, he does that every time they have a, a call or a visit, video visit. It's, thank you very much for this. Thank you for him very much for that. I appreciate, you know, all that kind of stuff. But honey, this time when he said his thank yous and he was talking and he started coughing, <laughs> Nesto didn't give a damn. He didn't ask. He wasn't concerned. He didn't ask her, hey, are you okay? Do you need to get some air or do you need to get some water? He didn't ask her any of that. He stopped talking until she stopped coughing and then he started talking again. I said, mm, mm, mm. This man doesn't care about this chick at all. But you know what? It is what it is, okay? Miss Sonia, Listen, when you are out in the sun, honey, you are going to get dark. This, it's okay. Okay, it's called a tan. And it seems like every time she gets a tan or she's been tan the few times we saw her, she's always talking about being darker. Baby, you, you haven't heard? Blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Okay? Now, I feel like... When these two get together, whether it's on the phone or video, it's like they have the same conversation over and over and over again. And who is making that stupid ass noise with their throat? I wish they'd stop it because in this video, it was very noticeable. You kept hearing, mm, 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 like those weird sounds. <laughs> it was just aggravating. <laughs> it was aggravating. I was like, no, it just has to stop. So they talking about the Steve Harvey show, right? And um, where Shirley was on there talking. And you could tell Nesto is so bothered. Oh my God, his feelings is hurt. He is butt hurt. But he's trying to save face for Sonya. But she probably know that man is hurt. We all know he's hurt. Come on now. Now, of course, Sonia is talking about Erica and saying that she did all of that. Nesto talking about, uh, yeah, that was all her. He didn't know. He knew exactly. He knows 
Erica. He knew exactly what was going down and what took place. So this stuff about him saying he didn't know, he is a liar. He knew everything. And she and Sonya need to be mind her business because she act like she was there and she know everything. Girl, you don't know everything. But even if she did know everything, would that make a difference? Because she's still going to be for her man, her man, her man, her man, her man. But anyway, now this part right here, I was like, oh, if the courts heard this, this is why they say people are afraid of Nesto. Nesto said it doesn't matter what nobody say when he get out. That's what they're going to be afraid of is when he gets out. So what are they going to be afraid of, Nesto? What you going to do when you get out? See, that's why your behind is in there. Okay? And you can't get out. And that's why they're saying that they're afraid for you to get out because you're going to come after somebody. Let me tell you something about Nesto. I noticed something about him. One minute he'll talk about God this and God that, right? The next minute he's trying to be all motivational. Keep your head up, keep my head up. I got this going on, that going on. But we all saw the real Nesto when he was on Tasha K, okay, on that phone call and how he was talking to Tasha K. That's the real Nesto. And we saw the real Nesto when he said that about when he get out, everybody's going to be afraid. Afraid of what? What you trying to do, old man? I don't think you can move as fast as you did 20 years ago. I don't think so. But anyway, well, honey, I, I, I peeped that. I peeped that. But anyway, so they're talking about Pinocchio, which is Creole Lewis, honey, the, the lawyer that Shirley was paying for. All right. So Sonia said Creole Lewis loves Shirley. And she even called this man a bitch ass dude. Sonya said, why Crowell keep calling Shirley with extra conversation when he's supposed to call her about the money? Oh, so he can't call her any other time is what it's time to pay for Nesto's fees or what Nesto got going on. That's the part right there. I was like, mm -mm. disgusting, horrible behavior. You want some other woman to pay for his stuff? Yeah, I understand they had a ceremony and all, but no, uh-uh. You messing with him, you wanted him, and now you got him. Pay for him. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think Sonya gave me her dang on uh, chicken cough through the video. But anyway. Okay, so she's telling us, though, that the bloggers put his charges out there. You know, everything is all out there on the, on the, on the YouTube with the all your charges and stuff. Well, you can look at it when you go on to uh, to the jail search. Put the put the inmate's name in, and you get the information. Boo, honey, she keeps yawning and coughing and yawning and coughing. Somebody give her some children's Tylenol because it's getting ridiculous now. It's getting ridiculous now. I'm going to say this. Sonia wanted Nesto, right? Oh, they were friends this and friends that. We know she laid it down with him, right? They laid it down. So she wanted him, right? And now she got him. She's feeling the weight. I, I, I Don't get overwhelmed now, boo-boo. When Shirley had him and, and, and he was with Shirley or whatever, you was all in the mix. Now that Shirley cut him off, and that's her ex-husband, girl, handle it. Don't get overwhelmed now, player. Okay, Shirley is out the way. Your competition is out the way. Now you got to pay. All right, now you got to pay. Of course the weight is going to be on you now. Oh, so you wanted Shirley's money to fund Nesto's court fees while you still talk to him, you know, in your little nasty tone. You know what I'm saying? You got to itch to be scratched and the pat and all that kind of stuff. You, you wasn't worried about that then. So now that the money is gone and Shirley is gone, you worry about the weight being on you. Carry that weight, boo. That's what you wanted. You wanted Nesto, so now you got to take everything that man has and now you got to deal with it. Pay like you weigh. Well, you only weigh 97 pounds, so I don't even think that's enough to get him bailed out. But anyway, congratulations, boo. He is all yours. 
Now you are his jail fiance. It is what it is. Okay. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Got the nerve to talking about now the weight is on her. Of course the weight is going to be on you. You wanted that man. He was married. You wanted him. And you didn't stop until you got him. So now what? He's fully yours. Handle it, sugar mama. Mm, mm, mm. So Sonya says she looked younger with her hair up and that daggone ponytail. And Nesto disagreed. He's like, no. <laughs> he was like, no. He's like, no. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I want to talk about with these two. Because I do have to talk about the other video. The one that she's wearing her little high school varsity jacket. <laughs> I'll get to that later. Ciao. Nesto and Sonia, oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. These two, yeah. She She's going to be the jail fiance. And then once he goes to prison, prison, she's going to be his prison bride. As a matter of fact, speaking of prison bride, that's coming on Wednesday. I think on Lifetime is a new show called Prison Brides. And that's coming on Wednesday. I'm definitely going to watch that. I've been watching some shows now. I just haven't talked about it with you guys but i will because i watch some good stuff so yeah but anyway you guys that's all i have on these two right now i'll come back later with the other video but you know talk to me in the comment section let's 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 talk about what this whole video was about let's talk about it honey shirley is out the way mother strawberry is gone and mother strawberry closed down the credit union okay the strawberry we trust Credit union is going. So now Miss Sonia is feeling the weight. You, you know, before I get out of here, you know what Sonia and, and, and Nesta remind me of? Do you guys remember this cartoon that came on back in the day with the skunk and the cat? <laughs> Pepe Le Pew. And every time Pepe Le Pew came up, came up to the cat, she would try to get away from him until one day... She started. <laughs> she started with him, and he couldn't take it. Those two, that's <laughs> that's who it remind me of. Pepe Le Pew in that day, <laughs> in that damn <day> cat. <laughs> Let me get out of here if I get myself in trouble. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>